guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm looking super extra and I'm going to be bringing you guys a poetry collection. No, this is not what I'm doing. And today I'm going to be bringing you guys another poetry recommendations video so let's jump right into it. That's not the way it goes. poetry books today that I'm going to be talking about and first up here I have Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. So you may have seen this around this is a YA book that's been floating around the National Book Award finalist and this book is actually written in verse. It's about a boy and his brother gets killed and this book deals a lot with the gangs and rivals and vengeance and has a lot of those kind of topics surrounding it but he is going down the elevator to go down the floors to going to go kill the guy who killed his brother and as he's going down the elevator, he gets some surprises along the way, which is all I'm gonna say. It deals with like gun violence and it's just so interesting. It's like nothing like I've read before in terms of poetry. But like, for example, I just really liked how it was told and it was absolutely beautiful. And it said, lots and lots of sirens howling, cutting through the sounds of the city, except the screams. The screams are always heard over everything, even the sirens. And it's just like, I when I read this, I couldn't stop reading it, which, oh my God. So yeah, I read this on a way to a funeral which is really sad, but it kept me distracted, so kudos to that. Now this next one should probably not even be on this list, but that is Note to Self by Connor Franta, and that is only because this book is not just a poetry collection. It has a bunch of topics and it talks about, it's a memoir that talks about Connor's life, and it has pictures in it, but it also has poetry, which is why I'm talking about it today which this does have a lot of trigger warnings for depression, so keep that in mind. But Connor is just an absolutely beautiful human. If you don't know, he's a popular YouTuber. That's what he's most known as. And he's just such a stunning human being um, inside and out. So I love him so much and his work is just so inspirational. And the photos in it are absolutely stunning. And like, I can't, like, oh, like, oh. And like, let me try to find a poetry thing because okay. when I lie awake long enough for the clock to tick over to a new day, my heart beats faster as I begin to question what brings worth to life. The scariest moments come when my eyes remain open through an hour empty of answers. It's just stunning. So I'd highly recommend this one as well. But here I'm going to be talking about Sea of Strangers by Long Leave. This came out recently. Anything by this author before, you kind of know what her collect, like, you kind of know what these collections revolve around if you've read from this author before, but it just deals with love, heartbreak, all that sort of stuff, just like what poetry is usually about. But this is poetry and prose, which I really enjoyed the prose in here, but this has like a really nice prominent theme of like the sea and the ocean and waves, and it's just so beautifully told, and I really enjoyed that theme that it revolved around. I thought it was like a really nice touch to like keep the poetry collection like together. But this poem is called Revenge that I'll read you. So revenge when the battle is done and you think you have won. Don't dance on my grave just yet. If you are the moon, then I am the sun. I will not allow you to forget. In my own time, I'll take back what is mine, for I am not your friend. In the dark of the night and the shifting tides, I will come for you then. Look at that. <laughs> that is so good. So I, yes, love this one. There's one that I don't own physically, but that is This Boy's a Rainbow by Sam Payne, which I talked about a lot. I did receive it for review a little while ago, and I just loved it so much. It came out in January, and it's just, I feel like it deserves hype, and it's, similar to Milk and Honey in the way that it's formatted, but it's about an LGBT relationship and heartbreak through that and it has illustrations in it. It's just really beautiful and I don't have direct quotes because, but I'll put like maybe photos up on the screen because I don't have the book physically, but I want a physical copy so bad. Like as soon as those come out, like you bet I'm, I'm gonna get that. <laughs> those are the my poetry recommendations. I believe this is like my fifth or fourth poetry recommendations video but if you like these let me know down below and any other recommendations that you'd like to see and if you've read these or if you would like to and i'll see y'all very soon bye